All right. It has been almost two years, but we are excited to return to holding um, honors and achievements recognition in our board meetings. Um, I know that I'm not the only one that missed celebrating the successes of our students, employees, and schools. Tonight's honorees include three students who took the top spot at various sports competitions. We will also begin a new portion of honors and achievements tonight, spotlighting one of our amazing schools. We, we feature all of tonight's honorees in our proof positive newsletter. That newsletter is on the table um, as you came in the door. If you did not pick one up when you signed in tonight, please do so on your way out. It's a great keepsake to take to your uh, families and for your honorees scrapbooks. In fact, you're welcome to take an extra copy home for any family members who could not be here tonight. Um, we do ask that you stay until uh, we are finished recognizing all of tonight's award recipients as each award winner deserves our undivided attention. In order to accommodate our youngest honorees and their families, once we finish, we will give you a chance to leave before we resume the rest of the evening, but you're welcome to stay. Dr. Little, will you please step down and help us recognize our award winners? Honorees, when you hear your names, please come and stand with Dr. Little as we tell the audience all about you and your achievements. All right, skeet shooting champions. Our first award goes to an individual who is one sharpshooter. Over the last year, White Knoll Middle School eighth grader Ella Gudati has placed at the state, regional, and national level for skeet shooting. Ella could not be here tonight, but we wanted to honor her and her achievements. In May, this sharpshooter earned the title of Ladies Intermediate Entry Highest Level Overall Shooter for South Carolina, combining state scores for skeet, trap, and sporting clays. This win allowed Ella to participate in the Southeastern Scholastic Clay Target Program Regionals in Savannah, Georgia, where she earned the title of Regional Skeet Champion, Runner-Up Trap Champion, and Second Runner-Up Super Sporting Clays Champion. Ella recently attended the SCTP National Championship and claimed several titles, including National Champion Super Sporting Clays, Second Runner-Up for Skeet, Double Skeet, and Doubles Trap. Congratulations, Ella. Our next award, we put on our swim caps to honor a state champion. River Bluff High's Matthew Swain recently won the state title in the 100-meter breaststroke at the state competition that took place in North Charleston on October 11th. Matthew has joined Dr. Little up front. Matthew is a senior at River Bluff and was also named the River Bluff High School swim team's MVP for the 2021 season breaking a school record in the breaststroke at the Blue Devil International earlier this season. Matthew also was named a 2021 All-Region Swimmer. Great job, Matthew. <laughs> For our next award, we are moving from the swimming pool to the golf course. Would Lexington High School senior Isabella Rawl please come forward? On October 25th, Isabella earned the first place trophy during the Class 5A Girls Golf Tournament at the Country Club of South Carolina in Florence. Isabella, who is headed to Clemson University, that is not a surprise that she's going to Clemson. Clemson University to play for the Tigers. I don't think she was allowed to go anywhere else, was she? No, I'm good. Chipped away at the competition to shoot a seven under par to place first. Isabella. <laughs> Isabella has the championship drive. This is the second time she has won the state title. Congratulations, Isabella. For this month's school spotlight, we are honoring Lake Murray Elementary School. Tonight we have Principal Jennifer Stanley and Special Education Teacher Sarah Livingston. Recently, Lake Murray Elementary's Inclusive Culture earned the school national recognition as a 2021-2022 Special Olympics National Banner Unified Champion School. On Friday, December 10th, 
the Special Olympics and Hasbro Toys honored LMES students and staff at a special celebration. The school is only one of only five schools nationwide to receive the distinction. One of only five in the nation? That's impressive. During the event, students receive gifts from Hasbro for all they do to provide an inclusive learning environment for all students. Let's watch this quick video highlighting the school's achievement. I love playing Mary Ann Elementary School. I love being a Mariner. Blake Bowie is a unified champion school. Ready? Count these. One, two, three. Three, good. Put it with three. We have that family culture here where we don't look at people any differently. Um, you know, and I think also focusing on values, just like the national banner, you focus on certain values. We focus on certain values here at Lake Murray. And so when you stop pointing out what makes us different, everyone kind of skips over that and starts to just have fun and, and be around each other and accept each other. Miss Doug helped me walk, and Miss Miller helped me do speech, and the walking teacher helped me to be so we have walk and the other one is Miss Beck and Cosona and Miss Slater. Regular ed students playing with or walking down the hall with students that don't look like them or that are in a different type of learning environment, it's very heartwarming. And that's when you see that all the work that you do that you feel like sometimes is not known or seen as much, you're like, you know what, this is, this is why we do what we do. It's for these kids to be given an opportunity just like everyone else. Being a National Unified Champion School means so much to me as a principal um, because what it represents is the heart that our school has. It represents our culture, it represents our community, it represents our staff, students, and teachers. So having this award is probably one of the greatest awards we will ever achieve. All you need is love, love. It's just different here. I think back to Dr. Little saying all means all. And it really is a district of love and acceptance. The one great thing about our school and winning this award is that it's about how we bring each other together. Our children are learning at a very young age that just because you might look different or learn different, that at the end of the day, we all have the same heart. They make me happy when they help me. I love Lake Molly. Did you know that in addition to Lake Murray Elementary, the district is also home to two more Special Olympics Unified Champion Schools, Satsgatha Elementary and White Knoll High School? Only 69 schools across the U.S. received this designation. Congratulations to Lake Murray Elementary. Ms. Stanley, we look forward to hearing more about your awesome school, and I believe you're going to say something to us. I just wanted to thank the board for allowing us the opportunity to come in tonight and celebrate the true purpose of why we're all here, which is for the kids. Um, our school, just like all the schools in our district, meet our kids exactly where they are and give them their personal best each and every day. And I'm very honored to be um, our school to be recognized this, but it also goes out to every single school in our entire district. We have so much to be proud of, and this is a small snippet of that, so thank you. All right, Lexington District 1 joins school districts throughout the state and nation this month to celebrate School Board Recognition Month. The theme, Celebrating Local Leaders, reminds us all to celebrate the unique role school boards play in champion, championing and advocating for quality education and the ownership they take for governing their local public schools. As the elected representatives of the people in their local communities, we represent our local community's voice and vision for public schools. As a part of School Board Recognition Month, we participated in an official signing of the South Carolina School Board member ethical principles earlier tonight. 
By signing the principles, we as Lexington District 1 school board members publicly vowed to uphold effective governance principles and pledge to improve public education in our community. Thank you for taking the time tonight to help us recognize the many honors and achievements of our students and staff and the many generous contributions of our local businesses and community. We love sharing our good news with you. Now, just as I promised, you are welcome to stay for the remainder of the meeting. However, if you would like to leave, we will give you a quick, quiet moment to do that right now. Mm. 